Hello everyone, how are you? This is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this quick video I'm going to give you a very powerful, it has exactly a powerful tips of Microsoft PowerPoint. Now let's say you have added a text here, something like this, that is about this, what we offer and so on. And normally what you do is you just add a bullet point like this to explain it better or you feel that it looks better or sometimes you might add numbers, right? Now, this is not a better way because this doesn't look like a professional PowerPoint presentation. I'll tell you one small tip which you will implement and you see the difference. So let me first undo it and just go to this convert to smart art. All right, click here and just notice the difference. You see here, there are a lot of smart objects and you see if you just select any of these, how beautifully it has changed your text, right? So you see here, how beautiful it is showing. All right. And you see, you have an option of more smart art graphics. Let's click on this if you don't like the previous list. And you have a lot of ways. You see here, if you want to insert a picture, if you want to insert a pyramid shape, you can go here. Matrix, you can go here and so on. Let's say if I go to list and let's select a particular, uh, let's say layout. So let me just come down and let's say I select this. All right. You see here, it gives the preview also. Click OK. And now you see here how beautifully it is showing. So earlier you had a text which was boring. Now you see you have a smart art object. Now you can have different uh, variations of that particular layout as well. So you see here, there are different variations. Let's say this looks like a 3D image. So if I select this, you know, and you have various options. For example, you can change the colors. Let's say I want this color. If I select this, you see how beautiful it looks. All right. And at this moment, this is a smart art object. Now, I don't want to keep smart art objects because there are a few limitations. You cannot apply so many animations and you do not have a lot of control if you use smart art objects. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll just give shift control G and in this way, if I just press shift control G, it will ungroup the object. So if you do ungrouping, that means now it is like a normal PowerPoint shape. Now in this case, you see here, I can apply individual animations, right? So that is the reason I have just given shift control and G or what you can do is let me first undo it and you can just give right click and just go to group and click on ungroup. So it is up to you. Normally in windows, I give shift control and G for ungrouping. All right. So just go here and explore this option that is convert to smart art. And I hope this will help you a lot in your PowerPoint presentation. Thanks for joining. Do subscribe to our channel. Okay. Bye-bye. Tata. -bye.